Okay, first up is Afterburner. This is an on-rail shooter combat game developed by Sega. In the Game Awards in 1987, it came first for Best Graphics, it came second for Game of the Year, uh, third for the most popular game, so it, it has got quite a few accolades, and is well known in the arcade scene, and has been ported to pretty much everything. It was brought to the FM Towns platform in uh, February 1989, and is a faithful conversion. Okay, next up is Splatterhouse. Um, it's a beat-em-up arcade game developed by Namco. Uh, one of my all-time favourites this game, and was obviously converted to the uh, home consoles and personal computers. Splatterhouse is like a, an arcade side-scrolling beat-em-up, uh, with certain platform elements. Uh, Rick is the guy you play, and you have to work your way through the uh, West Manor. The story begins when Rick awakens in the dungeon of the manor, after being resurrected um, and given the Terror Mask. So, uh, you know, really great game. Quite hard, uh, but a faithful conversion and uh, really deserves its place on this list. Okay, next up is Turbo Outrun. Um, this game was released in 1989. Uh, it's a racing game developed by Sega AM2. And it follows up from the original Outrun, which was released in 1986. You take control of your Ferrari F40 um, with your girlfriend sitting in the seat and it's basically a race against the clock to get to the uh, checkpoints and to beat the computer controlled opponents. One noticeable difference between this and the original Outrun is there was police cars that uh, occasionally pop up and try and stop you in your endeavour to get to the end of the stage. One of the big difference between this and the original Outrun is the boost the turbo boost obviously in the name the turbo boost feature and you have to be careful obviously your vehicle doesn't over boost when you're tur when you're activating that turbo um, but yeah pretty much the same as the original out one just with a few more bells and whistles so another worthy mention on this list okay next up is microcosm um, this was released in uh, 1993 um, my first incarnation of this was on the mega cd which was obviously a lot more grainy as a lot of these games um, were on the Mega CD. It's a bit of a sci-fi shooter. Uh, the premise is that you're inside Anton Crosby's body, which has been infected with a virus, and uh, he is the leader of the Cybertech Industries. Um, this virus threatens his body, so you've got to kill the virus before it kills him, um, and obviously destroy the virus before it takes control of him and obviously ultimately kills him, and Cybertech Industries obviously goes, goes under. So that's the premise of that game. Selection. Next up is 4D Driving. Okay, this game tends to revolve around carrying out stunts and racing around tracks and doing jumps and stuff like that. Um, quite impressive graphically. Um, you yeah, know, the frame rates are pretty good. I'm quite impressed with the way it plays, considering it's a, a 1990s era game. Um, you know, I know it didn't, by today's standards it caught, probably looks bloody awful, but, you know, back in the day this was actually quite impressive, and the, the frame rates and the controlling of the vehicles was really good. So I'm really pleased that I got a chance to have a go on this. Now that I've fitted the ODE in the FM Towns, I can now play some of the games that I never really got round to playing. Uh, purely simply because they're just so damn expensive nowadays you know you look at splatter house and things like that they are incredibly expensive so really cool now that i can have a go and um, show you some of the gameplay on the fm towns okay up next is bubble bubble um another fantastic conversion of the arcade game uh, originally developed by tatio uh, released on cd rom uh, by ving which seemed to release a lot of games on this system uh, in 1990 um, it plays exactly like it should do, nice and smooth, um, really good faithful conversion of the arcade system. Bubble Bobble was originally released in the arcades in 1986 and it's a platform game, um, single player, and it's been released on pretty much every home system since, so it's had a lot of faithful conversions and the FM Towns version is no different. It's a nice colourful reproduction of the arcade system. I think on this version there are a hundred levels um, of the cave monsters that you have to um, rescue um, in order to finish the game. This one has been also touted as Tatio's uh, greatest game they've ever made and has been listed many times in the top 10 list of greatest games ever made. 
Okay, next up is Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective. Um, I do quite like these four motion video games. Um, I do like this game in particular on this system. When you see the quality of the video being played, it's far superior to how I first encountered this game on the uh, Sega Mega CD. Um, the video is absolutely miles and miles better than what the Sega what Mega rubbish. CD could produce. What? So it does make the game a lot more pleasurable to play, considering the game's a lot smoother and the transitions are better. And you can understand and watch what's actually going on compared to the Mega CD version. So I'm really pleased with this version. It's um, a really nice example. It plays well. Um, like you say, streams from the CD flawlessly. So it does make this a lot more enjoyable. And it makes the experience of finding out what's gone on and who's murdered who and stuff like that a lot more pleasurable. So really am pleased that this one's on the list and it's a shame the mega cd couldn't have produced this sort of graphics when it was released okay next up is chase hq uh, the premise of this game is to drive along this track very much like outrun um but they've added a new element to it the idea is you smash into this convict you know escapee's car and you gradually take damage until the point that the vehicle um breaks down and then you can arrest the subject or subjects in that vehicle. So that's the premise of the game and, and what's required of you. You know, once you've pulled the car over and you've arrested them, that's the end of that stage and you move on to the next one. Your mission is to take down five criminals, uh, but you have a time limit to do that. So you, you must take out that car within that time limit or the game comes to an end. If you hit other cars, they just slow you down. So it makes it more difficult to catch up with the criminal. Um, so you must avoid all the other cars on the track. The only car really you should be hitting is the one that uh, you're trying to take down because anything else slows you down and the time will, the, obviously the time will run out and that will be the end of the game. It was released in 1998 in the arcades and has been released on many, many systems and it's a faithful conversion on the FM Towns. Okay, next up is Operation Wolf, released in 1987 in the arcades, been released in many, many systems. Uh, the premise is you've been recruited uh, for Operation Wolf. Uh, the purpose of your mission is to um, take out the enemy um, and rescue the prisoners and avoid killing all the people that are, you know, the innocents that are all running around. Um, so it's a, an on-rail shooter. Um, Basically, you're, you, know, you have a gun, grenades, and you can pick various items up, but you just have to shoot your way across the, uh, across the level without uh, killing anybody, uh, you know, any innocents, and just, then obviously you can rescue the prisoners at the end of the level. Okay, the next one up is a bit different. Um, there, are, there is a genre of titles on a lot of Japanese consoles um, that require, you know, that young girls you carry out puzzles or you, they're doing strip teases or they're you know you different things like that it seems to be a bit of a genre that um, gained a lot of popularity at that particular time I think it still goes on now um, this particular game there's a lot of sideshows um, of these of different particular girls and you know, I've seen them where you have to carry out you know, build you do a puzzle and you get rewarded with a picture of a pretty young girl so it tends to be you know this is a genre that is about and I think it does need to be talked about and included um, it isn't something that floats my boat. Um, doesn't seem to be anything more than. Is it a bit, a little bit of soft porn? I don't know. You know, is it just a, you know, a few pretty girl images? I've seen a few that have been quite interesting and quite fun to play, uh, but this one is just basically a, a series of sideshows and a few bits and bobs. So, just wanted to add that just because, just to give it a notable mention. Next one up's final blow. This is a game based around obviously boxing. Um, it did have an arcade release in 1989. Been released on many, you know, Sega systems and Atari. It was released on the Genesis. So you know, you play a fighter, and it's a sequence of knockout competitions. Uh, you obviously have to knock out your opponent. You have an energy bar, which obviously every every time you get struck, the energy bar reduces. So. Uh, your opponent obviously if he if he starts beating you to a point when once the energy bar has been reduced um, you go into a knockout um, you can block those punches to avoid obviously taking damage um, the ring isn't particularly massive so it's quite close combat the graphics and sprites are quite big so you know the action's quite good it's not one of the best it's nothing like a Neo Geo or anything like that um, but it's quite funny I quite enjoyed playing it for a short amount of time, so I just wanted to add something different into this list. I don't think it's one of the best games I've ever played. Um, but, you know, I enjoyed playing it, and that's the main thing, isn't it? Okay, that's me taking a look at some uh, FM Towns Marty games on my ODE modified 
unit. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you made it this far, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again in the next video. Bye for now. One, two, three.